What's up? What's up, my peeps? It's your boy OG Gangster, straight out of Compton. How y'all doing out there, man? You know, I just wanted to come on here today and talk about something that's really, really, really important. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know what I'm saying, to our community. You know, as many of y'all know, you know what I'm saying, my son passed away uh, September the 5th. You know what I'm saying? Due to all uh, fitting on, you know, and uh, our kids been dropping like flies, man. Our people period been dropping like flies due to this fitting all situation, this fitting all epidemic. You know, I just uh, found out that uh, you know the um, Hall of Fame football player Ray Lewis, you know, from the Baltimore Ravens. His son also just died of fitting on. You know what I'm saying? It's this this is getting ridiculous, man. You know what I'm saying? We gotta really, we gotta do something. You know, it's like these youngsters, these kids, because just people, period. They don't know that these dealers are putting the fitting on in these drugs, man. They taking these pills, thinking these just regular pills, or you know what I'm saying? They of meth, the ones that mess with with the meth or, or whatever, whatever they're using, you know what I'm saying? They don't know that fentanyl is in these drugs. That fentanyl is in these drugs. They don't have a clue. They not just going out here taking fentanyl just to take it. They don't know fentanyl is in these drugs. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's killing them. Cause you know what I'm saying. Anytime you taking fentanyl, you be playing Russian roulette. You know and. It's crazy because, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing really being done about it. You know what I'm saying? Nothing at all. You know, but you know, after my son died, I formed a nonprofit in his name called uh, FJS FAF, the Frederick James Staves Jr. Families Against Fentanyl Foundation. You know, so I've been using that foundation to put the word out and talk to these youngsters out here on these streets. You know what I'm saying? I'm just starting off, but I'm doing everything that I can do. I'm finna try to, I'm trying to get into the school so I can, you know what I'm saying, talk to the youngsters, you know, at a, a lot of them at one time, you like an assembly or something, so I can talk to them about the use because, you know what I'm saying? I know all youngsters think they're invincible because when I was young, I thought I was invincible. You know what I'm saying? But we're not invincible. It could happen to any one of us at any time. At any time, man, you could take that drug and it'll be your it'll be the last drug you take. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, it broke my heart. It broke my heart. Just talking to it right now, talking talking about it right now, got me feeling a certain kind of way. But man, we got to do something. We got too many of our kids and our people dying. You know what I'm saying? For no reason. You know, so I'm 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 just. Man, I need help. We need help. You know, we need help. I got a GoFundMe right now. On, on I got a GoFundMe under F F F J S F A L F A F Frederick James Saves Junior Families Against Fentanyl. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to raise money. You know what I'm saying? So that I can, you know what I'm saying? Because, man, funerals are, man, funerals are expensive, man. I didn't really know how, how expensive a funeral was until my son died. I ended up paying basically for the funeral and the repast. I ended up paying basically like $30,000. And it's crazy because I had life insurance on him, but the life insurance can't don't even kick in till after you get the 
toxicology report back and you get the death certificate and that takes six to four to six months. And I just, I just found out what today fell Thursday, just found out Monday. I, no way. Friday, no, well, Saturday. You know what I'm saying? The coroner called me and told me that, you know what I'm saying, that the the reason my son passed, which was fentanyl, you know what I'm saying, and you know, everything the port will be ready and everything will be ready, so you know what I'm saying? But if you ain't got that money to pay for the funeral at the time, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You know? And I ended up paying like thirty thousand for my son's funeral. You know, and that's crazy. But uh, that's why I want to raise money. Well, part of it is raising money, you know what I'm saying, so that uh, we can help families pay for funeral, pay for their, their kids' funeral. Because I know it's rough out there. And help. We, anything that we can do, we want to do to help them. You know what I'm saying? Because the average family ain't just got no $30,000 to pay for no funeral. I was just blessed and fortunate and I had help for, with other people helping me, you know? So, yeah, so I'm trying to raise money. So for those of y'all that can help, just go to uh, GoFundMe, you know what I'm saying? And look up the uh, FJS-FAL Foundation, Frederick James Stage Jr. For uh, families against fentanyl, you know, and uh, God willing, you know what I'm saying, we can make something happen, man. We got, we got to do something, man. You know what I'm saying. Also, I have a website. I have a website. The website is fjs-faf.com. FJS-FAF.com for anybody that didn't have a family member, somebody they love, or just somebody they know that didn't pass from fentanyl, you can go to this website uh, and you can register and you can put a picture of, your, of, of whoever it was that passed from fentanyl. You can put a picture of them up there and you can also write something about them. So when people go up there and see their picture, they can, uh, you know, see what you have to, what you've written about them. You know, whatever you want to write about them, you can write about them. You know, so, yeah, that's FJS, FJS dash FAF dot com. Go to the website and post up your pe pe people, your pe uh, pictures of your loved one and write something about them. So we all can look at them and, and read about them. And you know what I'm saying? And you know, just leave something, just leave something about them for the world to see. It's your boy G. You know what I'm saying? And I uh, just want to thank y'all in, in advance. Appreciate it. And uh, y'all can always catch me on my YouTube channel at uh, OGENT TV. OGENT TV on YouTube. Come check me out. You might see something you like, or you would rather hear something you like. Appreciate y'all. One love.